as you guys already know if you saw the first episode we are giving away an amazon gift card it can range anywhere from 25 dollars to five hundred dollars all right Jesus. but the trick is you got to watch the whole episode because we're going to put the code that you need to purchase stuff with the gift card on the screen and it's only going to be up for like two seconds so the first person that get that code go on amazon put that code in and you can buy whatever you want like i said it's going to range from 25 dollars to 500 dollars, and the first person that gets it wins all right so make Better sure you watch playing. the whole episode all right So what's good everybody? Welcome back to Chef Junior's TV. Welcome back to season two of In The Kitchen where I bring you simple and easy recipes for you to try it on in the comfort of your own. On today's episode, we got a really special guest. We got the one and only Airplane James, you know, Mr. Aquafine up in here. We doing big stuff. things, you know. So we stepping up this season and we gonna have a lot of interesting guests this season. So make sure you stick around, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment down below. But we about to jump right into this video, all right? Let's get it. So bro. what we're doing today is we're going to do a Cajun Alfredo, or should I say shrimp Cajun Alfredo See, baked potato. See, you got potato. these big ass shrimp right here. We got here. some big ass shrimp right there, right? So we got some potatoes mm -hmm. that we're going to, you know, make it, you know. I'll be always seeing this shit on the gram, so. We don't want to do no basic stuff. I'm trying, I'm trying to try it. Every time gonna, I see it on the gram, I'll be wanting to try it. So, so we're going we gonna, to we gonna do it on the gram. We're gonna do it on YouTube, we're gonna do it on Facebook, we're gonna do it everywhere, all right? It. It's about to go global. Airplane James up in the kitchen with Chef Junie. Yes, sir. We're about to do it, all right? Let's so it. for our list of ingredients, we got about a pound of shrimp, right? Mm -hmm. I'll tell everybody, don't just go to the store and say, I want some jumbo shrimp. Right. Jumbo don't mean nothing. It's all about the size, uh. all right? So these are what they call uh, 1620. That means there's 16 to 20 shrimp per pound. Uh. So the smaller the number, the bigger the shrimp. Gotcha. Right, so a U10. So that jumbo shit in the bag don't really count. No, nah, it don't really count. They, been they just say jumbo, right? Whole fucking time. Right? Because they give you some, now if they give you like a 21, 25, mm -hmm. that means there's 21 shrimps to 25 shrimps per pound. Gotcha. Right, so it's smaller, so it's more shrimp per pound. When it's bigger, it's less shrimp per pound. Right. So we want, we, want we go that. to the store and say, yo, give me a 12 to 18. Give me a 16 to 20, you know? Yeah, you got that's that different you know, lingo. You hey, really do this shit. Yeah, I really do it. Get so. that 12 to 18. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So I go to the store, like, yo, give me the 12 to 18. Don't say jumbo, because they don't give you the little shrimp and call it jumbo. Right. But yeah, so we got a pound of the 1620s. Easy. We got some Parmesan cheese. We got some edible flowers. Not edible, but edible flowers. Right. Right. So break that down for me. What, what does that mean? It edible. just means you can eat them, but it ain't going to get you high. Okay. So you can eat them, but it ain't gonna get you high. I was thinking that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got some salt, all right? We got some parsley for garnish. Mm -hmm. We got, of course, we got our baked potatoes. Yes, We're gonna have, put them in the oven. I'm gonna show you how to do these. Yeah. All right, we got some of that Chef Junie's All Purpose Seasoning. I was looking at that, because I was right. like, I was looking at the bowls and shit. I'm like, we don't got we a whole got, lot of seasoning, but. But we got a whole lot of seasoning. Yeah, that shit look like. We ain't got a whole lot of seasoning, but we got a whole lot of seasoning, right? So, yeah. I, you know, KFC got 11 herbs and spices. I got 12 herbs and spices. Okay. You know, so we got a whole bunch of herbs and spices up in here, and we're going to get it I right. I smell it, too. You smell it? Mm -hmm. So we got some uh, concoction up in there. We got some heavy cream. Heavy this cream. This is what we're going to make our sauce with. We got some Parmesan cheese. And I'm hungry already, man. That, that's what it is, right? Um, but over here on Chef Junior TV, what mm -hmm. we like to do is we like to give people their flowers while okay. they deserve them, while they're here, while they can smell them, right? I'll fuck with that. So we're gonna go ahead and give you your flowers. I appreciate you for coming by Chef Junie's TV and blessing my platform. Nah, so we man, got some it. gifts for you, all right? Oh, shit. So we got right here, some your own uh -oh. all-purpose seasoning right there, right? Fuck with that, I'm gonna be cracking in the kitchen. All right. You know what I'm talking about? We got a candle. Oh, get the man. mood right, get the vibes right. This is the oh, yeah. calming candle. Right? Calming candle. Not the calming candle, right? 
before I get ready to the smack. Con, the, the, right? con, the con, me can, right? Mm -hmm. This is my girl. She makes these. This is her brand. Oh, Higher vibration. Too. You know, get your zen mode on. Get your mm -hmm. vibe mode on. I like the candle. Too. Get active with your girl. You know, the whole nine Definitely yards, get right? active with my girl. Right? So we that. got that candle for you right there. And we also got a Chef Junior apron. I don't know if you want to put this on now. Oh, man. You know, this Duh. is a collab we did with I Love LA Girls. Oh, this is right? hard. So whatever we do, we want to cook with love. Right. We want to do everything with love. We want That's to spread hard. love. We want to cook with love. You got the Chef Junior logo right there with the knives. You got the YouTube right there. So this is for you as well. Man, Take I'm going to get to the crib and cook something put this for motherfucker you. on. Look, just put that on. You know. I'm going hey, to get my kids some cereal and put right. this bitch no, on. Put your kids yeah. to bed. Put your kids to like, bed. <laughs> Go get the cereal. You feel me? <laughs> Put your apron on. Light your candle and cook this meal for your girl. Oh, this motherfucker hard, be bro. Good. Thank you, bro. That's what we got for That's you right love, there. That's love, man. Appreciate you, dog. Like I I'm said, we like to give people their files while they can still smell them. So yeah, I'll be get that bag, TV. man, so I don't lose none of this. Right, right. I got you right here, the bag. Mm-hmm. This hard, man. I'm for sure. Man, I'm a candle dude, so. You know, I, got, I got a little. I got a little thank you card in there for you as well. Oh man, yeah. You know, Airplane James. I don't know if you know Basquiat, but that's one of my favorite artists. Yeah, I definitely am. Black dude I'm, I'm from aware. the 80s. So I got your little Basquiat thank you card. Oh, hey, man, I that's note. Hard. Got that for you right there, all right? Dog, this is love, man. You're making me feel special. Yeah, I'm sad to say, everybody that come, up, come on this platform is special. Special to me. That's why you're here. So we got that for you, all right? This is hard, bro. Thank you, bro. Put that in the back. Now I'm hype. Oh, yeah, good. Now I'm ready to be touching like meat. Pause. You know what I mean? But <laughs> now I'm ready to touch this shit. Right, Pause. there we go. <laughs> Pause. All right, so I'm going to show you how to clean these shrimp, right? Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our scissors. Okay. I know you didn't realize we got, you know, you can use scissors. These are our kitchen sears. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to go down the back of the shrimp just like that, right? And you're going to get everything in one swoop, right? Boom, so there you go. You know, you got that little vein right there that you got de-vein. You know, so I grew up on the east side, you know, the east 80s. That's not boo-boo? That's boo-boo. Oh, okay, because that's what I heard. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> growing up shrimp, on the east, that's shrimp I thought boo -boo. that was boo-boo. I mean, technically it's the vein of the shrimp, but it's boo-boo. Gotcha. Right, so we're going to go ahead and just peel it off. We ain't trying like, to eat shit. No, nah, we ain't trying to eat shit. <laughs> 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 we ain't trying to eat shit, right? So we're going to go ahead and... Take that whole skin off like that. We got the vein out, the boo-boo How'd you out. do the vein? I your, missed that. With your finger. Oh, I gotta touch the boo-boo. Right. Yeah, you gotta touch the boo-boo. Gotcha. We got soap and water, don't trip. Let me try it though. So you go straight down the back like that, right? So mm -hmm. then you got the boo-boo right there. Let's take the boo-boo out. I don't know if you two gonna flag me for saying boo-boo, but we're gonna oh, say, hey, we're gonna sure. say, we're gonna say D-vein. We're gonna D-vein the shrimp. D-vein, D-vein right? the shrimp. And we're gonna go ahead and just pull the whole shell off like that. All right, so I'm gonna let you go ahead and. You're really teaching in there. Yeah, yeah no. go ahead and let you do the rest of that, you know? Yeah, I'm gonna get home and be like, yeah. sure, look at what I learned. We did we did the SBA special and the PPP loan special on the last interview with Dijon, and we didn't have that kind of money to buy the shrimp that's already deveined the pill. So uh, okay. we gotta get our hands dirty on this episode. Right. I'm gonna let you do that. I'm gonna uh -huh. wash my hands. Okay. Cutting my little nigga up. Oh, that is fucked up. Hey, you think shrimp got feelings, y'all? The shrimp got feelings? Mm-hmm. Nah, shrimp don't got feelings. Uh, Duke shoot. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, I did it, y'all. Yeah, there we go. Clap it up. Clap Yay. it up. For play. <laughs> Your first shrimp you ever deveined to clean. I ain't clean. gonna lie, my girl gonna see this and be proud as fuck. <laughs> she like, you gonna touch that? Mm -hmm. You gonna go home and no, make no. this recipe for her? I swear to God, right. I am. Where I put this at, though? Where we gonna put it on the, the side over okay. there, you know? Because we still gotta clean the shrimp after we peel them and stuff. Okay, okay, okay. Let me see, you got another one going. Put it in there. All right, so while you're doing it, I'm gonna ask you a few questions, right? Okay. So around here on Chef Junior TV, we want to get into the music. We want to talk about all that stuff. But what we also want to talk about is the person, mm -hmm. all right? Um, so we want to know, you also got a mixtape out mm -hmm. because, you know, a controversy rap report card came out. Yeah. We also want to know, who the fuck is Airplane James? Man, if I had to answer that, I'm just a regular nigga off the east side, man. I just so happen to be good at music, bro. Family man, a brother, a dad, you know, just a regular dude that just likes to do music. Right. Honestly, I'm no different than 
Little Joe from Kokomo. Okay, okay, Little Joe from Kokomo. So to get into your backstory, uh, where did you grow up at? Like, just tell me about your life growing up as a kid. Like, did you have both parents in the house? Uh -huh. Where did you grow up at? What was your influences? Shit like that. Man, it get deep. We gonna go deep on this We gonna show? go deep. You know, this is Chef Junie's TV. I'm we ain't about the controversy, we about the person. Damn, I've never even told nobody that because nobody even asked this. But, um, you know, I was born in 92, you know what I'm saying? So, with that, you know, what was going on around that time? Motherfucking riots, motherfucking crack, you know what I'm saying? So, actually, um, my mom at the time, you know, she was on drugs and shit. So, she ended up, um, she couldn't take care of me. So, I ended up going into the foster care system. And so, um, this lady who I call my grandma, she ended up adopting me, bro. Okay. And I never even told them this story yet. Like, we gonna get into it as a music, you know what I'm saying? I'm right. putting my debut out and shit like that. But she took care of me from, nigga, as a baby till now. Okay. So yeah, that was my backstory. I don't really know my dad and shit like that. But I met my mom a few years ago, actually. Okay. Which is crazy. How was that interaction with your mom? Um, Being a grown man, and media mom. You know what? It was, you know, it was a few years back. So I actually had this, uh, let me see how I say it. Like, they had sent me this letter, like, oh, you know, do you want to meet your mom and shit? At a time, I was a little younger and immature. I'm like, man, fuck no. Right. I did it this far, you feel me? Right. So, um, but then I started wondering, like, damn, do I got somebody look like me? Do I got a sister okay. that look like, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. So, uh, uh, like, a year went by and then they sent another letter, like, you still want to look for her? I'm like, yeah, I do. You know what I'm saying? So I ended up finding her and it was mad awkward. Thank God she's a talker. You know okay, what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. she just talked for a damn hour, bro. And it was dope. Like I got to see her and she, she lived in the jungles. Okay. So it's just why I was that's where I grew up at in the jungles. For real? Where? Yeah. What street? On Coco. Right across right down the street from the school. She lived on Ursula. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, I grew yeah. up in the jungles. So yeah. I got some niggas from the jungle too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So did you realize some similarities in your mom and yourself that you didn't realize before? Like, okay, I met my mom for the first time. Mm -hmm. I see where I get this trait from. I see how where I get this type of personality from. Uh, something small, a sense of direction. I'm terrible with sense of direction. Oh yeah? I use the GPS for everywhere. Oh yeah? But you ain't no real LA native. <laughs> yeah, right, nigga. <laughs> so so I, you, you, I, I, she's terrible with directions. And you terrible with directions. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah, so, it's boo boo um, hiding right here. It's boo boo hiding. Yeah, like you don't want to come out. Right. Come on out of there. <laughs> oh, this one's slime me. So, what area of LA did you grow up in? Um, I grew up on the east side. Okay. South Central. Like, what? What do you? What do you consider east side? Because I grew up on the west side. I consider anything past Hoover the east side. Yep. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I grew up on Main Street between Main and 83rd. Okay. Yeah. 83rd, okay. Right there. It was and janky what, growing up. What? Uh, you said it was janky growing up? <laughs> I, I feel you because I grew up in the jungles and from the jungles I moved to um, Jefferson and Raymond Avenue. Oh, I'm and, not familiar with that area. And I moved to um, St. Andrews and 27th Street. Oh. You, yeah, so you I was, moved around. I moved around. And that kind of gave me my upper hand in LA because I kind of know everybody from every hood. Right. And it kind of gave me that, okay, that's such and such. Okay, he, he on Bang, he a non-affiliated, but he cool because right. I know him. You so definitely had to be street smart growing up in the city. You though. definitely had to be street smart growing up in the city. Where did you get your influence of music from? Like, how did you know you wanted to be a rapper? Man, the first time I seen, um, the first time I seen Lil Wayne in that orange bandana. Okay. Block is hot? Yeah. <laughs> like, it, was, it was on from there. This was made for me. <laughs> for real, man. I started writing names down from that point on. I wanted to be Lil Wayne. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What was the first record you ever wrote? Or the first rap you ever wrote? It was a freestyle over uh, Bow Wow, Fresh As I'm Is. A couple of <laughs> I don't remember how that shit went. <laughs> But I remember the shit. <laughs> I thought Bow Wow was so hard. Oh, he don't, Bow, and he don't Bow get his flowers, man. Hard. He Bow don't get his flowers at all. Yeah, he don't get his flowers. Bow Wow's definitely dope. Seen that nigga in that up. Mickey Mouse chain? I said, oh, he's gonna have all the bitches. Right. <laughs> all right, so you knew you wanted to be a rapper. Mm -hmm. And what was your first journey into becoming a rapper? What my was first, your first steps? My first steps? Damn. Um, so. 
I was working at Universal at the time. Okay. Universal Studios. Universal Studios, not the record label. Not the record label. Okay. And so, big difference. Big difference. So the homie um, from you know my neighborhood or whatever where I grew up at, he his brother is actually the CEO of the company of Diamond Lane. Okay. You know what problem is? Yeah, problem. Right. So problem we gotta get you on Chef Junis TV. Right, get that nigga up here cooking. Yeah, cook. Get him in here cooking. He swear he can cook too. So. <laughs> we gonna put him to the test. Right. Got so you met the. I'm. I've been new to brother or whatever, okay. but niggas wasn't really taking me serious like that. And because I was working this shit, so I was doing it as a hobby too, though. But um, he took me up there with problem one night. I'm like, nigga, I'm gonna kill this nigga. You feel me? And like, what year was this? Damn, what year was this? I think it was 2016. 2016. 2016. Okay. And um. Yeah, uh, he took me up there. And I had like two verses ready. Like I'm like, shit, I'm about to kill this nigga problem. Like, this were my two best verses, uh -huh. right? So, long story short, uh, we get up there, and that nigga didn't write shit, bro. Nigga did them two verses. Like, what else we doing? Yeah. I'm like, I ain't got nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got nothing else. <laughs> so, nigga, uh, I left. That night, I ain't get prob number. I just was young and was like, I was too scared to ask for that nigga number. So, um, there was a another dude that rapped with them named uh, Stoney the Dealer. Okay. He heard what we did and was like, oh, who this nigga? This nigga hard as fuck. Right. So he followed me on Instagram and like, man, come to the studio. That was my way back to the studio. Yeah. On the real, because the homie who took me up there was like, nigga, shit, you ain't get the number, nigga, that's on you. I ain't taking you back up there. So when I got the I got to the studio, I just used to sit there. Okay. Niggas ain't put me on no music, nothing. Yeah. Didn't even but really, you was in the building. Though. I was in the building. Right. And my mentor always tell me shit, half the battle is showing up. Half the battle's been there, yeah. So finally, nigga, I got on this song with problem called Deaf Ears. He was drunk one night. <laughs> <laughs> he was drunk one night, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? The vibe, you know, he was like, man, put a put a hook on this bitch. Uh -huh. I did a hook. He was so drunk, nigga, I slid a verse on that bitch, too. Oh, yeah. like, yeah, <laughs> Ain't yeah, even yeah, know. Yeah, better get this motherfucker, so. <laughs> nigga, the room was going crazy, like, man. He like, damn. Snuck over here, uh, we, we gotta fuck with this nigga now. Yeah. And that's how it happened. Okay. Let's and that was my that introduction into the game, for sure. Okay. Damn, this shit didn't have no dookie. No dookie, that one, that, that was a clean one. He didn't have no dookie. He lived right. a good life. So while you're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do these potatoes, right? So we already cleaned these potatoes. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put a little bit of oil on these potatoes, right? Yeah. Get a little bit of oil, all right? And then we're gonna put a little bit of salt on them. What does the salt do? The salt is just gonna little flavor the skin a little bit, right? Oh, okay. So we're gonna put the salt on these, and then we're gonna throw these in the oven for about an hour. Okay. Right, so we're gonna go ahead and let me ask you, you be eating the skin? The skin of potatoes sometimes. You, you never have you never have you be hungry, huh? You never have, <laughs> <laughs> you never have potato skins? Oh. You never been to TGI Fridays? Yeah, I've been to TGI right, Fridays. You never Friday. had the the, 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 the the three for ten? Nah, the potato you know what skins at TGI? That sizzling uh skillet. The sizzling skillet, okay. I'm That's poor, so I gotta get the three for ten. You know, that shit ain't I can't, I can't get it? the, I can't get the scissors skillet. That meat right there. Then we're gonna take our fork and we're just gonna fork it up a little bit. You know, go ahead and poke it up. What, it, what that's gonna do is release some steam. Poke it up. Yeah, poke it up like that. Give me flashback. Not poke it up like that, but poke it up. <laughs> right. All right. Then we're gonna throw this in a 350 degree, 350 degree oven for about two hours. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna let you go ahead and finish that. We're gonna throw these in the oven and we're gonna be back right after these commercial breaks, all right? Let's go. Peace. All right, so we back in Chef Jonas TV. Um, you got anything you wanna plug? Shit, Loki Hurt on the motherfucking way. Or by the time you put this out, Loki Hurt might be out. It might be out. It's gonna be out, so we're gonna have all the links for your um, product and your mm -hmm. music and everything in the description box down below Hard. and everything else, ChefJuniTV.com. Hit me up on Instagram, hit up Airplane James. What's your Instagram? Airplane James 354. All right, we're gonna have everything in the link down below. Or not everything in the link, everything in the description box down below. Mm -hmm. And we just about to jump right back into this video, all right? Let's get it. All right, so we got our potatoes out of the oven. 
Right. It's been about two hours. It's been about mm -hmm. an hour. I had you here waiting around for an hour. I know you're a busy man. You got places I'm to go. With you but I appreciate you sticking around, all right? Yeah. So the way you want to test your potatoes, right? Mm -hmm. The way you want to make sure your potatoes is done, mind these are hot, they just came out the oven. Yeah. You want to go ahead and if your fork could go easily through the potato, oh, damn. then it's finished. Right. Right. If it has a hard time going through, mm -hmm. like when we was poking it up earlier, right. it was hard. Well, if you can go straight through the potato, it's done. All right. Gotcha. So we're gonna go ahead and put these to the side, and we're gonna start on our Alfredo sauce. All right. Ooh. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this shrimp with a little bit of seasoning. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're gonna hit with, we're gonna use the Chef Junie seasoning. Okay. But mind you, this is low on sodium, so it's not a lot of salt in here. Okay. It's but packed healthy. full of flavor. But the flavor. It's packed full of flavor, mm -hmm. but it's low on sodium. So we're gonna hit the shrimp with a little bit of salt. Right. Okay. Just a pinch of salt. And mind you, this is kosher salt. This is not your regular table salt. Okay. So the crystals are bigger, it's less sodium, and it's less salty. So it might look like uh, a lot of salt, but it's not a lot of salt. Gotcha. Because the crystals are bigger. Oh, right? wanted to know. So we want to use the kosher salt, all right? Then we're going to go ahead and hit with some of that Chef Junior season. I'll let you do the honors. You can go as heavy as you want on that. Heavy as I want? As heavy as you want, because it's not salty. Okay. There we go. There yeah. we go. That did look, let's throw a little, a little bit more. more. A little bit more. There we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Then go ahead and mix that up. Yeah, get yeah. your hands dirty, get your hands dirty. In there. All right, while you're doing that, all right, so we got our pan preheated on a medium heat, all right? And mm -hmm. we got about a tablespoon of olive oil in there, all right? Okay. So you got that nice and seasoned. Yeah. We're gonna go ahead and make sure. Smell good. Make sure our pan is low. And we're gonna go put that in there, all right? We're gonna talk about this wrap report card. All oh, right? shit, okay. I've been hearing about this shit for some months. Seeing your grade on that, well, first of all, let me preference this as we gonna title this. Just throw it in this joint? Yeah, just throw it in there. Not throw it, but set it down in there. We gonna title this episode, Who the Fuck is Airplane James? Right. Because after that report card came out and saw your grade higher than the Ben Staples and your grade higher than certain individuals, everybody like, who the fuck is Airplane James? Right. right? So, we already talked about who is Airplane James. Mm -hmm. Right, you tell me your backstory. Tell me how you just met your mom a few years ago. Yeah. Tell me you grew up with your grandma, or the lady you called your grandma. Yeah. Um, how did you feel about your grade on the rap report card? I thought it was pretty accurate. Yeah? I'm not gonna hold you. Yeah, like, um, I just thought that, uh, yeah, like, I, I, I wouldn't have wanted to be, you know, A or no shit like that, because it would mean I wouldn't, I wouldn't have no room to improve. Okay. So, like, impact, I don't feel like I'm where I should be at in impact. That just means I got more work to do. You know what? We got the report card right here. So let's go over it. All right? Easy call. So Airplane James, right? Mm -hmm. Lyricism. I think you got some dope-ass lyricism. Right? Me too. You got an eight. Right. Right? Mm-hmm. Every nigga feel like they lyricism should be a 10. Right. So. All right. That's that's that on that. Next on the list, impact. Like you said, mm -hmm. your impact. How do you feel about your impact on the industry? I feel like, you know, it's, it's one of those things right now. It's like, if you know, you know. Okay. But I'm trying to get it to where everyone knows. Right, right, right. You know, so that's okay. just what that is. Next is your cadence. Uh-huh. Your, your bounce, your flow, your, mm -hmm. your pop, you know. How do you feel about your cadence? What was it? It was an eight. Yeah. Pretty high. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, it's like I got work to do. Right. You know. And but. your flow, your flow is good. You got a nine on your flow. Yeah. I love your I'm flow. I'm very versatile. Though. Right. Like, you just never know what I'm on. Your lowest score on the list is your catalog. Mm. Which is un, undeniable and un, like you can't really, you can't really discredit that because right. your catalog is, you know, it's not a high catalog. You don't have a, like two, ten albums out. But you know. I think that's because the niggas is not throwing paint at the wall. Like, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like we, I'm, I mean, I'm going to take my time and put the best shit right. out. Don't mean a nigga don't be recording crazy. I got over 500 records. Okay. But... Put, you go with your best shit. Yeah. So, you know. But yeah. since this drop, I didn't drop like a whole, I didn't drop two EPs since then. Yeah. So. You go ahead, go ahead and flip those. Right? I'm actually some more questions, yeah. right? All right, we gonna skip over the consistency. You've been pretty consistent. We gonna uh, jump over to your music video. Okay. All right? Which one? I, I ain't have the motherfucker. Well, it's, you got a nine for music videos, right? Oh, okay. You got a nine, right? Your latest music video, it's gonna be somebody we're gonna feature on 
one of these episodes of In the Kitchen. Little old Tyler. Little old Tyler, right? Mm -hmm. The chemistry on that video was pretty amazing, right? right? How do you go about your treatment for your videos and how do you go about filming your videos? Who do you use? Who is your go-to director? Like, um, tell me about your music videos. Well, my go-to guys are uh, Drew Robinson and Alan B. Okay. We just been building from the ground up with them since I came in the game, you know, and they just got better and better and better. Um, what usually happens though, I'll come with an idea. I'll be directing. I just don't okay. be putting my name on the shit. That's right. But I'll come with the idea and then just let them plush it out. Okay. You know, so um, for the before video, I had saw the SZA um, visualizer. Did you see that? Yeah. Uh, for I hate you. Yeah. She wasn't even in the video. Shit like that be hard to me. But I just took the. Um, like the video looked like it was like slow mo the whole time, but it was still going fast. Okay, yeah. So I just told them that, and that's what they came up with. And I knew Tyler was the one that I wanted to use for it. Yeah, okay. So why you knew Tyler was the one you wanted to use for that? Um, shout out to Airgasm Media. By yeah, the way. shout out to Airgasm Media for sure. Um, she just had that look. Yeah. You know, I wanted some. You know, someone of her. She looked a little evil too. Though. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I gotta ask her what sign she is, cause she seems a little. She's know, probably a Scorpio. Something like I don't that. Know her yeah. Sign, but. <laughs> yeah. Right. But yeah, yeah. The videos, your vi your visuals are pretty dope. Mm -hmm. um, and I like your consistency. Right. So I feel like you're great. Do you feel like your grade was fair? I feel like it was fair. I feel like it was Leave fair. Leave me some room you to know? improve, and let's just see what the grade is next year. Right. So you said on your uh, mixtape, um, top two, but not two. Right. You feel like you number one. Hell yeah. Yeah. If you don't feel like that, what you doing right, it for? I feel you, I feel you. What you doing it for, you know? But if you feel like you number one, is there room still for improvement? Hell yeah. There's always room for improvement. You know right? what I'm saying? So like, I feel that's like Kobe. That way Kobe too, was no? I mean to me, Kobe was my goal. Okay. And that nigga still feel like he wasn't, you know what I'm wasn't, saying? Yeah. Elite or or wasn't where doing he needed a, to be. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah. It's always shit you can Yeah, mamba about. mentality. Mamba mentality. Right, right. Sure. Okay, I feel you. So, you know, then you said you got the braids mm -hmm. because Niggas was biting your style, so you got the braids. Yeah. Is that is that a... I was just rapping. You was just rapping? I was just rapping. You know? That's it. <laughs> I was just rapping. Do you, we feel like, that alone. do you feel like somebody was biting your style or somebody in the industry is biting your style? It just rhymes. Yeah, it just rhymes. Okay. That's it. That's the political answer. We got an airplane James over here. <laughs> All right, so these are almost finished. We're going to go ahead and take these out, right? And we're gonna go ahead and start. Them bitches look fire. Making our sauce. We're gonna sauce it up a little bit, all right? Now, what you say? Go to the store and get them 16 what? 16 20s. Shit sound like tires. Right. If you wanna, if you wanna get, if you wanna get the big boys, you get the 12 to 14. Mm. You know, those the bigger shrimp, right? Yeah. So now we got this, right? Mm -hmm. We're gonna, we're gonna deglaze our pan a little bit with some heavy I cream. No. Right. Dude, that shit all that flavor. sauce in there, right? All right. that sauce and all mm -hmm. that flavor in there. Gonna go ahead and just all right. I'm just gonna let that you know reduce thicken a little bit, up. bubble up, thicken up. You know. Mm -hmm. Usually, you know, you say you don't eat pork. We usually add some bacon up in there. Right, right. We ain't gonna do the pork today, right? All right. So we got around a rapid fire questions. All right. Oh shit. Because you don't no thinking. You just go off the top of your head. My fucking you brain know, be Real quick, real happen, quick. All right. Okay. All right, so let's see. Um, no, we already did Obama. Um, Chris Brown is coming next week. Um, two chains ain't here yet. Uh, okay, here we go. Airplane James. All right, airplane James. <laughs> um, so this is how we start all the rapid fire questions. Okay. Right? If you are what you eat, what are you? I'm not gonna say the first thing. <laughs> um, you gotta say the first thing. If you are what you eat, what are you? Nah, you can't say the first thing. Nah, I don't, mm -hmm. <laughs> don't want to get flat. <laughs> um, I thought of chicken. Chicken? Guess chicken. chicken. Okay, okay. Um, there's another question we asked before, but I'm gonna ask you again. If you was blind, right? Mm -hmm. How would you ask for some food? Wait, if I was blind, how would I ask for something? Yeah. Shit, what is hidden for? I would... <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. You know, Dijon said he would go like, I'm like, oh, you, you can't see the food. No, but you know, you can still ask for food, like give me some food. 
Right. You blind. You can still talk. You say, give me some food. How would you ask for food? smacking or not. Yeah. Right. Right. All right. Um, um, is Compton considered LA? No. No? In the grand scheme, yeah, but if you ask a nigga from Compton, he might be like, I'm from Compton. From Compton, okay. Yeah. Um, I don't know what's up with that, too. Like, niggas don't be having LA pride. Yeah. <laughs> I'm from Long Beach, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, <laughs> nigga, you from Los Angeles. Right. Because there was recently, uh, you know, uh, 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 a chick from Atlanta was saying, I saw that. Right, right. Did so. you see the shit where she was like trying to get her hair done? It was like, oh, <laughs> you better hit somebody yeah. from Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that one. <laughs> They're like, shit, we not from Atlanta. Yeah, we ain't from Atlanta. Right, get right, your right, shit right. done. But I feel like all of it is LA. Yeah, me too. You know? I feel like that's for sure. Um, where we at? Where we at? That was two or three? Um, that was three. Best, best food truck in LA. Blue Kitchen. Blue Kitchen. I fuck with Blue Kitchen. I fuck with Blue Kitchen. Um, this one, uh, do pineapple go on pizza? Fuck no. Fuck no. I, I, I fuck with you on that one. No pineapple on pizza. Don't even hang I don't even, don't oh. <laughs> I don't even want no sweet shit on my <laughs> shit, ever. Oh, this is getting a little, little thick. And last. Everybody eat that is like low-key cereal. This one, the last question is always a little bit controversial, right? Okay. Top five LA producers. Sounds like TC, number one. Sounds like TC, okay. Uh, problem number two. Niggas don't know he's a producer. Okay, problem. Um, DJ Quick. DJ Quick, okay. A lot yeah. of people don't know he's a producer. Um, damn. I'm gonna say, we going right now? Like, or all Period, time? Period, all time. Oh, damn, that list would be different. I already fucking started though. So, Dr. Dre for sure. Dr. Dre. That's what, three? No, that's four. That's four. Damn, of all fucking time? I can't fucking think right now. Mustard. Mustard? Mustard? Mustard. Yeah, Damn, you gotta, I you gotta have, forget about mustard. <laughs> you gotta have mustard. All right, so that was our round of rapid fire questions. We got this sauce getting real thick up in here, right? Terrible. Nigga mm -hmm. forgot about mustard. Yeah, can't forget about mustard. Nigga provided the sauce. For right, right, years. exactly. All right, so now we're gonna add our Parmesan cheese to this, right? Gonna add our Parmesan cheese. Get that sauce nice and thick. Mm-hmm. All right, we're gonna add some more of this Chef Juni seasoning. Okay. Can't never add too much Chef Juni seasoning. Is this on the spicy side? This nah, will make it the occasion? Nah, 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 it's not really spicy. Okay. Got a little kick to it, but not really spicy, all right? Got you. So, about a couple tablespoons. All right, we're gonna turn our heat off. Then we're gonna add our shrimp back. All right. Ah. Get that nice and saucy. All right. Boy, this motherfucking potato about to be. About to be, oh. yeah. All right. Oh, I see what you're saying. You would have had the little bacon bits in there. Yeah. Going crazy. I, I used to eat pork though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna reset the kitchen and we're gonna be at, we're gonna be back right after these quick commercial break, all right? Easy call. Peace. So, welcome back from that quick commercial break. We're gonna go ahead and plate this up. This is my favorite part of the meal. Plate it up, make it look pretty. It's like art. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, plate this up, all right? I'm gonna give you your potato. Ooh. I'm gonna give my potato. And I got a few more questions for you, all right? Okay. So you actually signed with Diamond Lane? Mm-hmm. All right, so where do you see your career going? Um, shit, I wanna be the best to ever do it. Yeah. Shit, partner up, make it bigger than what it already is. Put a little bit more fuel on my shit. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and plate up these potatoes. Um, babe, what does future say? What does future say? You put a thumb in your butt, right? You put the thumb in the butt and you squeeze it, right? That's how you open your potato. <laughs> you freaky man. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga put the, oh, and then you did what? And squeeze the butt cheeks, you know? Put a thumb in her butt. There we go. See how you open that? Spread them open. You know what Future be saying. Don't act like you don't know what Future be saying. <laughs> All right, so, some freaky shit going on. <laughs> so what we gonna do is we gonna season up these potatoes first because we don't want a bland potato with this fire ass sauce on top of it, right? right? So we're gonna go ahead and get our salt. Where my salt go? Get a little bit of salt. I'm flabbergasted by that trick. Oh, don't worry about that. You know, get a little bit of salt. See I wonder if that up. shit work. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> you know? 
Get that potato nice and... Yeah. Yeah. All right, get your fork. Go ahead and fork up the potato after you put your thumb in the butt. What? Yeah, you threw me off. I'm over here fucked up, boy. <laughs> This looks crazy. I'm gonna fuck my shit you all spread, You spread the chicks too much. Yeah. I spread, yeah. <laughs> Getting crazy right, right here. Right, then we're just gonna go ahead and sauce it up, you know? Oh, damn. Yeah. Jesus. So one of these shrimp right on top like that. Go ahead and sauce yours up. Shit, you gotta tell me twice. Shit, if I do it. <laughs> Shit, bop, doop. You ever seen that video? Of the nigga uh, doing the, um, drinking the Hennessy? Yeah, 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 yeah. And he... Good! <laughs> Good! Good. Here on their diet. Oh, for real. There we go. Get, 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 get all that sauce in there. Get, get, the get little saucy, more. you know? Might as well. Yeah, Millie. That shit right here is gonna be fire. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of cheese on there. They make it look so pretty. You done did this shit a million times. Look at me, Easty. <laughs> the trick is get high, you know? The high, the higher you get, the more it spreads up. Right, let me try that shit one more time. What? Yeah. You see the technique? Nigga, don't sweat the technique. Yeah, we got, you know, we got some parsley, you know. Shout out to Justin LeBoy. I cooked for Justin LeBoy before. Okay. You know, but he, he made a post that kind of offended How me a little bit. How much time does he spend on his phone? He, he offended me a little bit. He said, y'all use the word narcissist as much as you use parsley. I love using parsley. Oh, God, I use parsley Yeah, on so, you know, you get you a little parsley. And get you a little salt bay on. You know? Let me try that shit. I'm going to miss the whole plate. <laughs> Oh, nigga, what? There we go. Hey, you got that. All we missing is some little chives on so this bitch. Some, some edible flowers. Oh, this is fire. You know, make it look, make it look pretty. I can't wait to take a picture and say, "Bitch, I did that." <laughs> Damn, you gonna hit with the little oop, the little whoop with the little oop. Here we I'm go. Gonna turn this motherfucker over. You gotta really see him. There we go. Yeah. So that's 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 it. That's it for you guys, right? Chef Johnny's Cajun Shrimp Alfredo Baked Potato. Real simple, real easy. Airplane yes. James came in the kitchen, did his damn thing, blessed us with us. Touch, Amazing. Touch shrimp. Yeah, touch shrimp, cleaned the poop out for us. I didn't have to do dirty work. That's a lot. You know? And that's what we got. We got our Cajun Shrimp Alfredo Baked Potato. Um, before we taste this, you got anything you want to tell the people about? The project's coming out. Project coming out, low-key hurt. Um, check out all the shit that I got out, man. We doing some dope shit over here. Yeah. Check out Airplane James. All the links for his videos and everything is Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, MySpace, Backpage. Every, all his links is going to be in the description. Backpage? All, <laughs> Cut that down. All, all his links. Yeah. Is, <laughs> I ain't promoting that now. <laughs> and I ain't even goddamn good now. <laughs> all his links is going to be in the description box down below. Uh, go ahead and give it, give, taste it. Tell me what you think. Okay, let me see. Let me see you know, get some of the sauce. Get a little nice piece of shrimp in there. See what it's been hitting on now. Mm. You like that? Yeah, it's been fire, man. Yeah, you're not just saying it for the camera? Let me see, let me see. Yeah, you might want to turn the camera off so I can really mm. eat it. The nice balance from the cream, you got the cheese, you got them spices from Chef Junie kick, kicking in. Oh yeah, I can't Amazing. wait to use that. You got the shrimp right there. You go home, make this for your girl, make this for your kids. They gonna love it, all right? Wow. As always, if you made it to this part of this video, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Hit Leave it. me a comment down below. Let me know if you wanna see any recipes. Tell me about your favorite LA rappers. Tell me if you wanna see anybody come in the kitchen with Chef Junie. And go ahead and hit that like button, all right? Do that. Peace.